we're going to discuss Avogadro's number and how it relates to stoichiometry. Stoichiometry just being another term for chemistry math. So Avogadro's number is that there is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd and what that does is it allows us to go from the microscopic level of atoms, molecules, and ions into the macroscopic world, something that we can actually deal with, which is in the world of moles. This conversion factor is exactly equivalent to the fact that there are 12 things in one dozen things exactly the same thing. So if I asked you to go to the store and buy 3.5 dozen cookies, but you got to the store and they only sold them by ones. You couldn't buy a dozen, you could only buy ones. You would do the dimensional analysis in order to figure out how many cookies is that really talking about. So I wanted you to buy 3.5 dozen cookies. You know that one dozen cookies is exactly equivalent to 12 cookies. Make sure that things cancel. A dozen cookies cancels with a dozen cookies. So we would be left with an answer of 42 cookies. So if I asked you to go to the store and buy three and a half dozen cookies, but they only sold them by singles, I would still want you to buy 42 cookies. Avogadro's number is the same thing. We just usually, instead of talking about cookies, talk about things in terms of molecules, ions, or atoms. That's what's going on down at the microscopic level, the molecular level, very small, molecules, ions, and atoms. And we're going to bring it up to the macroscopic level, something that we can actually see and work with. So the question I have then is, how many oxygen atoms are in 1.76 moles of oxygen? Straight dimensional analysis. Just like all of our dimensional analysis, we start with what the question is asking about. We know something about 1.76 moles. So that's going to be what goes on the outside of our dimensional analysis. 1.76 moles of oxygen. Avogadro's number tells us that for every one mole of oxygen, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd uh, oxygen atoms. As always, we double check, make sure you think that things cancel. Moles of oxygen cancels with moles of oxygen. We just have to do the math. 1.76 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd gives us 1.06 times 10 to the 24th oxygen atoms. We can use Avogadro's number to go the other way. We can go with a question such as, how many moles of sodium ions are there if I have 7.34 times 10 to the 19th sodium ions? So, straight dimensional analysis, start with what the question is asking about, that's what's going to go on the outside. So 7.34 times 10 to the 19th sodium ions. Avogadro's number tells us that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd sodium ions in one mole of sodium ions. Make sure things cancel. Single sodium ions cancels with single sodium ions. We're going to be left with moles of sodium ions. 7.34 times 10 to the 19th divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd gives us 0 
zero 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 one two two moles of sodium ions. Or you could write it in scientific notation. One point two two times ten to the minus one, two, three, four. Oops. Times ten to the minus four moles of sodium ions.